My name is Jacqueline Perona from Mountain House, California in the USA. Now this COVID-19 pandemic has unleashed a new wave of plastic pollution and the rise in the use of PPE, plastic packaged food, and other single use items has only intensified our plastic addiction and adds more plastic to our oversaturated oceans. Now last summer, I conducted a 3D printed face shield operation due to PPE shortages in my community. But even though we printed from PLA as a bioplastic, it only degraded in industrial composting facilities not even available in my area, and it isn't easily recycled either. So without proper disposal, it behaves just like plastics. But I believe we shouldn't have to choose between the health of our community and the health of our environment. Now I was inspired by fish scale waste, which is thin and flexible just like plastics, yet can degrade naturally and I implemented biomimicry of its composition for a dual focus development of alternate materials to plastic that I call Cycloplast 2. And each focus has three parts, the synthesis, the physical testing, and the degradation slash environmental testing. In focus one, I used the biomineralization concept to valorize 3D printed PLA waste by synthesizing it with fish scale inspired minerals to form a composite. In focus two, I use the squaretization concept to enhance the properties of the intact collagenous matrix of fish scale waste to form a thin plastic-like material. And my results are promising. I successfully developed compostable composites with higher flexural strength than PLA itself and enhanced compostability. I also enhanced thin film with tensile strength comparable to LDPE. It has water resistancy, yet it's still soluble enough to degrade. And it successfully biodegrades within eight weeks with no phytotoxicity. And since one size does not fit all, my cost-effective prototypes are targeting single-use items and are viable as non-medical PPE. In fact, it's been my passion for the past five years to develop alternate materials to plastic from various wastes. And Cycloplast 2 shows the most promising results yet. There may be no magic bullet to the plastic problem, but this is exactly why my project is important because it can promote a more circular economy by designing out waste and more practical waste management by promoting home composting. It reduces landfill accumulation while eliminating cleanup costs by naturally degrading in the environment. So instead of transferring our waste to the landfill, we can transform it into Cycloplast 2 to build a plastic-free future.